Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I decided to do a review of a Blu-ray combo pack that I just picked up at Target this week. And, as you guessed, it's Ready Player One. Yep, based on the novel by Ernest Klein, and it's directed by Steven Spielberg. It has Ty Sheridan, Olivia Cook, Ben Mendelsohn, with T.J. Miller, Simon Pegg, Mark Wylance, and Lena Waite. So, this just came out. It's a Target exclusive Blu-ray combo pack, which includes the DVD and digital copy. Yeah, ultraviolet, or movies everywhere. And has this holographic cover art. We can see Wade Watts. <laughs> And wearing the Oasis uh, virtual reality uh, and turns into Parbazin, you know, the character that was his avatar and looks exactly like Chris Silver from the X Men movies. So it's really cool. You can see the back right here, even the spine. And <laughs> this cover art. Um, let's see, let's see if I can try to open this. I don't usually do those unboxing <laughs> Blu rays, but I usually just open it to just show you exactly what it looks like. Well, anyway. <laughs> Apparently I had to take this bonus disc out of here. Uh, or this one, I think they just... Uh, I think they just put it in here. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I hate when they do this. Uh, so by... There's a DVD. Okay. <laughs> so that's what it looks like already. And I really enjoyed this film. It was wonderful when I saw it in theaters back in April. I just did a movie review on this, so just so you know. And the bonus disc features um, the Ernest Klein uh, interview, where he basically sets the um, a behind the scenes set tour, and it just shows all this other stuff that's included. So, while well, the rest just has all the other special features included, so it's cool. So, this is the set to pick up if, by any chance, if, if it's included at your local Target. Because sometimes Target will carry just the standard edition without the bonus disc. And there are DVDs that does conclude the bonus disc as well. As well as the 4K Ultra HD version that also has the same cover art as the Blu-ray version. That also includes the bonus disc. So. Each way you pick, I mean, this costs twenty four ninety nine for this Blu-ray, but the other one costs twenty nine ninety nine. So, so get it while you can, because <laughs> they're going pretty fast. <laughs> also, the Blu-ray should definitely have a stunning picture quality for it, so it looks even better. And I bet the four K version will do the same, but it'll have the HDR. So the image will be even more stunning than ever, but I'm already fine with this, so I'm cool. But I love the movie, once again. Um, I want to talk about my favorite moments uh, that I forgot to mention in the review because I just didn't want to spoil it too much. 
but I'm gonna mention it anyway. Uh, I love the scene where you know Parvizin along with Ake uh, Ultimus they they even ate Irock or whatever. They actually went straight to the set of the movie The Shining. Yes, the Stanley Kubrick version that is, which I know and you know, Stephen King hated it. Well, we get the idea. Because it's based on the his novel. I love the moment where they actually went inside just so they could find the key that's being hidden somewhere and you know, when when Ake was went inside the <laughs> some of these other scenes were when they opened the um, the elevator, yeah, the you know, the blood starts to rush around, <laughs> just like in the movie, and <laughs> and of course the bathroom scene where. Well, you know, in, in the movie, uh, Jack was about to grab the the axe, and it was, it was about to, you know, smash it all the way in, trying to uh, smash it all the way inside, and was ready to go after his wife. And this is where he says the line, "Here's Johnny." But this one's done differently. So, I also love the moments with. Harbison and Optimus when they were dancing around at the club. Yeah, they were. They even chose the suits. Like, yeah, Wade chose the suit from Abu Vanzai, and, and Optimus was wearing a lovely dress. And yeah, they're dancing to all these uh, classic songs. But yes, <laughs> there's even a moment when. When Optimus was like saying, Whoa, old school! And he got to play the, the Bee Gees song you know, from uh, Saturday Night Fever. Great moment. And it is a lot different from the novel because they actually did a few changes here and there. I mean, again, I don't have the book, so I, I can't say much. But if I had to find the book, I you probably see the difference. But granted, I, at this rate, I think the movie's even better, in my opinion. A lot of great moments here. And yeah, I begin to notice that Ake was actually uh, Helen Harris, a female, played by Lena Waite. And she was very good. Um, all the rest of the characters were very good, too. Um, even though they had to go for all these uh, 80s references and all that. So. <laughs> so I just thought it'd be cool to mention all that. So. It's very well done. CGI was spectacular the way they did it. The only thing I didn't like, however, was they, was they put in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the, the Michael Bay versions, when they should have just put in the 1990 versions. So that was one of the biggest mistakes. But it had everything that, that was included, so no, it really plays it well. So I, I just really enjoyed it. Um, can't wait to watch this again on this Blu-ray. And I'm just so glad I finally own it. So Anyway, that's my Target exclusive Blu-ray combo pack review of Ready Player One. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.